The check-in process after we landed in Mali was really straightforward. As soon as we got out of baggage claim, our host was there to greet us. He took us to the Transmaldivian Airlines counter where we checked in for a seaplane. And then we took a private transfer to get to the Conrad exclusive lounge where we're hanging out right now. Yes, as soon as we walked in, we were greeted by a nice set of cold towels, which was so nice just to cool off. We ordered a light breakfast. There's a little drink section along with coffee and teas. The seaplane will depart in about an hour. So we're gonna relax a little bit, enjoy our time here before we head over to the resort. The seaplane was so much fun. I couldn't peel my eyes off the window. I was just watching the entire time. I know my baby was kind of tired. Yeah, I think I got about four hours of sleep last night. I am a little bit tired, but the views were really amazing. However, the seaplane is a little bit tight, but nonetheless, the views make up for it. The check-in process was so amazing. The greetings, the coconuts we're going to enjoy, and then we can't wait to go check into our villa. Welcome to our home for the next five days where we're staying at the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island Resort. We're here in the Sunrise Water Villa and it's so spectacular. We can't wait to show you guys a room tour. So once you come into the entrance, you're greeted by this really large mini bar. As soon as I came in here, I was like, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. So many different types of snacks. I feel like if we were stuck here for a number of days, we would survive. But it is such a cool concept because they actually have a wine bar too. You don't have to go very, very far if you want a glass of wine. But the good news is that all of the waters, the coffees, and the teas are complimentary throughout your stay. And they actually give you a ton of water so you'll never go thirsty. And we also have our Nespresso machine. Now across from the mini bar is a huge walk-in closet. We have everything stored in here. It might be a little bit messy, but we have our bathrobes, slippers, beach towels and beach bag that the resort provides. Look how huge this mirror is. I don't think we've ever seen a vanity this big. And our favorite part is the bathtub because it actually gives you a view of the ocean. We're gonna draw ourselves a bath later and enjoy this. You also get a view of the beach from the toilet, which is kind of cool. There's so much light in here, which I love. It's a huge bathroom. The entire room is filled with these long windows overseeing the turquoise water. I'm obsessed with being able to see it from every corner of the room. Our bed also faces our gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise view. So the Conrad, because they knew it was our honeymoon, they put together all this bed decorations. The leaves actually spell out happy honeymoon and got a heart with all these beautiful flowers. Part of that honeymoon amenities package that they give for free, it's completely complimentary. It's quite a bit, so I'm gonna start with the champagne. So they give you a full bottle of champagne, ton of fruit. These are like marshmallows that are sort of like tropical flavored. These are mango and coconut, and they also give, in this really cute box, I'll probably take it home with me. 
think there's um, chocolate or, or toffee in here. We're definitely excited to be digging into the suites later, but I want to take you guys over to this side of the room because there's actually a glass floor under the work desk. There is so much to admire in this room, and it's nice to be able to see the turquoise waters under your feet. We're really excited to be working in this space, but I want to show you guys the sun deck because this is the best part of our villa. can't deny how huge the sun deck is. There's so much room for you to roam around in the sun. There's the lounge chairs, the eating area. There's even a whirlpool where we can dip in and face the ocean. How cool is that? And one thing that I want to let you guys know about the Sunrise Water Villa is that it's all part of the adults only island, the Rangali Island. It's the quiet area of the resort and it's really, really great for honeymooners like us. has been such a blessing as we managed to spend some time together with our devices put away, spend some time at the villa, and right now we're at the Manju Spa restaurant enjoying our first dinner. Compliments to the Conrad Maldives because they're offering this honeymoon package, which is a three course menu. We got the options of chicken and fish. There's also a vegetarian option. The atmosphere here is so phenomenal. We just hear the waves crashing and the slight breeze on this beautiful Maldivian evening. Good morning guys, it is a beautiful day here in the Maldives. Lon and I are just taking a brisk morning walk, exploring Rangali Island. So don't forget that is the adults only island. Of course, we're gonna bring you guys along for this entire journey. So stay tuned and let's go explore the Conrad Maldives. First morning here, we've decided to come to the villa restaurant since it's only a short walk away from our villa. And there's a semi a la carte menu, which means that you can also go to the buffet, grab some pastries and light snacks, as well as order a la carte. We ordered a whole bunch of stuff because our eyes are bigger than our stomachs, and we are so excited to try some Maldivian breakfast food items. During certain hours of the day, such as breakfast, lunch, or happy hour, you can actually take a doni, which is essentially a boat between the two islands. It's a fantastic way to get around as well as catch some of those sights. Right now, Laura and I just picked up our snorkel gear. We're gonna head off to a snorkel spot and hopefully catch some beautiful marine life. Today has actually been a bit of a windy day, but because it's the Maldives, it still looks beautiful. Right now, as you guys can see, the turquoise water reflects unbelievably underneath the sun. We just came back to the villa to relax a little bit. Lauren's already in the whirlpool, just taking it easy, just relaxing with the jets on. Because in about an hour and a half, there's actually going to be happy hour where there's free drinks, free hors d'oeuvres, 
for all members that are silver, gold, or diamond status. We can't wait to go check it out and enjoy some free refreshments and a little bit of snacks before dinner. of Rangali Island there's so many of these little white birds that are always hanging out right by this beach and I was wondering why are they so aggressive every single time that we pass by this area they're always so loud trying to get close to your head but it, then we saw one that was just sitting on the sand it pulled up and there was an egg under it it's probably just really protective of its babies We actually had a total of two happy hours this evening because every Tuesday the management team invites guests to come and join them for cocktails and canopies at the Quiet Zone from 6 to 7. The food was really good, the cocktails were delicious and free flowing. There were also mocktails because it's not just adults who are invited to the side of the island for this period of time, but families and their kids get to enjoy this piece of sunset with delicious food and drinks. And we also got massages. Yeah, which was such a nice touch. Mm -hmm. There were two masseuses, so we both managed to get massages at the same time. I think they were about 15 minutes long, and it was just such a great way to kick off the evening with the massage, the drinks, the food. Oh, you know what I thought was really cool was the fact that we learned so much about the Conrad and how they're, um, the Rangali Island is like the island of firsts. Yeah. Yeah, well, the first. So they were the first major hotel chain here. Mm -hmm. They have the first underwater restaurant. First underwater residence. First underwater residence. First and overwater villas too. First overwater villas. It's really cool that we got to stay at what they call the island of firsts. We really hope you guys enjoyed this first part of our Maldives vlog. But stay tuned guys because there's so much more of this resort that we have to show you. <laughs>